when you jump into season one of American Horror Story, what were your expectations of that? When did it click that this was going to be like an epic empire? I never know. I, I, my brain doesn't really work in that way of thinking, oh, this is going to be a hit. This is the thing. It's really like, I want to play her. I want to work with that person, you know, and, and like David Milch and then certainly like Brian Murphy, who has changed my life and continues to change my life every single day in so many ways. Um, but I was do- at the time doing a play. I was doing a play at Williamstown. I was doing a doll's house with Sam Gold and Ryan called me and said, I've written this arc on my new show, American Horror Story. She's called Nora. And it was wild because I was playing Nora and he, I, do, I don't think he knew that at the time. So it was just like, he's some kind of seer, uh, which he is. Um, and I, I was going straight from Doll's House into Seminar, which was a play I did on Broadway with Pamish Linklater, he's in the other room, <laughs> and, um, and Alan Rickman and uh, a wonder Hetty and Park and Jerry O'Connell. And it was um, also with Sam Gold directing. And um, I was like, Brian, of course I want to do this, but I'm, I'm, I'm about to go into rehearsals for this play. And he said, well, when is your day off? And I said, well, once we start performances, we, we only have Mondays. We, and he said, oh, that's fine. And I was like, but, but it's in New York and you're in LA. He said, yeah, that's fine. I'll figure it out. And I, so playing Nora on American Horror Story, I would do my matinee in seminar. They would have a car outside the theater, get in the car, go to the airport, fly to LA, sleep for a few hours, go to set, shoot all of my Nora stuff that they could in one day. And then on Monday night, go and take the red eye back to New York and be back on stage Tuesday. And then that three, it was originally going to be, I think three episodes. And then I think Nora ended up this is going to be wrong, but like in nine episodes or something, and they just kept doing it. And no one else on the planet could figure something out like that, but Ryan did. And um, so that was my, my, that was my first experience of, 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 of being a part of the show. And then for season two, he said, now for this one, I, I need you to stay in LA. Is that okay? And I said, yes, of course. Absolutely. That's okay. Yeah, that one's so, a heavy role. I can understand that. <laughs> so, but that was the sort of, uh, and then it's just been, you know, it's just that show is such a gift. Um, going into just the idea of doing that, like craziness of going back and forth. I imagine that was, that was very taxing and exhausting, but what would you say could be a a pro of operating like that? Is there any benefit? Yes. I think, uh, I think that the, the roles that I was playing because I loved both of them so much were so energizing. They really felt like nourishment. So even though I was probably very depleted in terms of sleep, I actually felt very well nourished because I loved my work so much. And, um, and so I really mean that, like I, I could feel it sort of in my veins that I was getting like vitamin infusions from the roles that I was playing. And, um, and I also think there is something to when you are, wildly busy and probably a bit exhausted. Uh, Creatively, I find that wonderful things can come out of that. I'm not recommending that people, you know, don't take care of themselves and don't sleep (laughs) by any stretch, especially now as a mother, I'm like sleep and eat and all those things. But, and I am someone who worries about things, but there was no time for that. So I had no choice, but to be incredibly present uh, in both, in everything I was doing. And I think that was of great value. And, and there is something, something to that, even if it's not sustainable, maybe like for, you know, but. That sounds a little like, uh, like our film festival grind, being sure, on right. the ground and just covering as much as possible without sleeping. And, and I, I thrive, I thrive in that zone. And then when it's done, do you sleep for a week? Oh, and then I come home and crash. I sleep uh, unusually long hours for like three weeks after that. <laughs> Yes, I so I'm not let, I'm not letting you leave the American Horror Story topic without one attempt at a season ten tease. <laughs> I don't know what what is. I know you probably can't talk about it much at all, but what is something that you might get to do in American Horror Story season ten that you've never had the chance to do on that show before? Gosh, I can say that the person I'm playing on this on this season is is nothing like anyone I've played on the show before. And I am having such a wonderful time with her and, and uh, 
with my fellow actors. And, um, I love this season. I love this season. I, I, I think new fans of the show will love this season, but I really, the, the longtime fans of the show, I just can't wait to share this season with them. Um, yeah, there's something, there's something about it. It's really, I, there's, I wish I could say more, but I, I really love, I wish I, yeah, I, I just. I've been playing this game for nine <laughs> seasons now. That was a very uh, respectable response right there. 